neighbor. I like stories. Do you like stories? It is time to draw close to the mystery of Christmas as we prepare to enter this great mystery. Many of us are on our way to Bethlehem. Let's join with the prophets, Mary and Joseph, the shepherds, the animals, the angels, the magi, and all the rest. They will show us the way on this journey that was not just back then, but is also now. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Oh, no. Hi. It's the mail boy. Here's the book. I thought you might like to read this long story from this beautiful storybook. Here you go, Miss Ron Grayers. That picture hurt me, too. Yes, it is. Just like you order. Thank you, real person, Gabriel. You are welcome. Always a pleasure to talk uh, to for a speedy delivery boy. Long before the birth of Jesus, prophets foretold a wonderful event. The coming of a prince of peace who would be the son of God and would bring hope to all the world. People who have walked in the darkness have seen a great light. The child who has been a son given other leaves vents upon his shoulders and his name wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, peace, prince of peace. His otherly shall continu continually and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He shall establish uphold with it with justice and is and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. Years passed before the words of the prophets were fulfilled. Have you ever waited for something important to happen? Greetings, favorite one. The Lord is with you. I wonder what sort of greeting this might be. Do not be afraid, Marie, for you have found favor with the God, and now you can sigh thee in your womb, <laughs> and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will the be, will the be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now you, Rella the Divot, Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son, and this is also the sixth month of her, who ha was said to be barren, with nothing will be impossible with God. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. I wonder how you would respond to that kind of message. Male person Gabriel was not the only one excited about this announcement. Christmas over 2,000 years ago was a seemingly unimportant event, the birth of a child in a lowly manger in Bethlehem. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered at their own town. Our story is about Mary and Joseph. Because Joseph was descended from the house of David, he traveled with Mary, whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child, to the town of Nazareth in the city of David called Bethlehem. 
Don't mind her. She likes to welcome visitors to our corner of the neighborhood. And so it was. Mary gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger. incredible acts of kindness and courage. Edna opened her kind heart to these strangers so that they could have a place to be safe and so Mary could give birth. Amongst the few that first heard of the birth of the Christ child were some humble shepherds in the hills near Bethlehem. shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring good news that will bring great joy to all the people. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, was born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth lying in a manger. When the angels left, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. <laughs> So they left quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. Well, I want to see this place too. Huh. Where did that star go? The desert clouds have blocked our view of the night sky. I wonder if we'll ever see it find our way again. Do not give up hope. We can rest here while the clouds clear, and then we can fo follow the star like before. That is right. We have observed this star at its rising and have, been, and have traveled a long way. Look, the star has appeared again. I wonder how far away it is. They were overwhelmed with joy. They knelt before the Holy Family and offered gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. You see, poor shepherds were not the only worshippers at the cradle in Bethlehem. Along with the Magi were the angels, the animals, the innkeepers, and the friendly neighbors, and the light of God shining brightly on all of them. As we celebrate Christmas this year, may we too go on our way with praise and wonder in our hearts, giving glory to God for the gift of love given up to us in Christ. Amen.
silent night, holy night. Shepherds quake at the sight. Glory stream from heaven afar, heaven hosts sing alleluia. Wow.